Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is March 29th already. We're at the very end of March, so I hope you guys are feeling good this morning. Um, there is a little problem I do want to address right now. So there, there's been a disconnection to Rumble. So those of you that are watching on Rumble, sorry about that. For some reason, it uh, removed itself. So yikes. All right. I just fixed it. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's get started. It is Financial Friday, so all questions will be financially related. So we're going to keep it with the topics. I do want to mention before we get started that I got a ton of emails, a ton of comments um, of regarding cities and states and things happening in other countries as well. So therefore, we are going to have its own show <laughs> for that topic. So I do want to share screen. So next week, I will be debuting a full show for you guys. We're just going to go ahead and do it. There were so many uh, responses to that topic. So yeah, we're going to just have to do it on a full show. So we're going to do it uh, April 3rd at 4 o'clock Eastern, well, 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It is called Homelands. So it's a live Q&A because I was just, it was flooded. So thank you guys. You guys are awesome. So you guys flooded the emails and everything with your, with where, you know, what's happening around you in your hometown or the cities around you or places you want to move to, but you're not sure. So yeah, this is a full show on it called Homelands. Also, it's also going to be about past life geography and seeing where, you know, why you resonate with certain areas, you know, like, for instance, like here, I resonate with it much better than where I was born and raised, you know, much better. Um, so, you know, your soul has a calling for certain areas and where you really belong, a sense of belonging. So, yeah, we're going to go over that as well, included in country and state investigations. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a live Q&A um, and we'll just keep rolling with it every probably every other week since I have all these different kinds of shows going on. But it's so much fun, um, you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And then I do want to mention later on today, I should have kept that screen up. Sorry, guys. So later on today, let me go back here, is the Hollywood show. So let me scroll down to that one. So that will be at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Looking into Aaliyah uh, and how she did she really pass on that airplane ride and her connections with the P. Diddy and all that big circle that's going on right now. But also looking back into the past of the great musicians, um, you know, of the great eras that produced beautiful music. So we're going to look into that, too, and see about their plane crashes as well. Um, I did a few things on this before in the past, but that was like a few years ago. So I think it needs to be refreshed. It needs its own show. So that's what today's all about. That'll be at three o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock Pacific Time. It's pretty cool. And also, since I'm sharing screen, let me share screen with Mel Carmine's awesome Quantum Summit. Don't forget, if you're going to or even if you're thinking of coming to Florida, I highly encourage you guys to come on down Cape Canaveral, Florida. I will be there. Mel, of course. Uh, his beautiful wife, Amber, and then so many speakers. All the speakers are on the website. So go to quantumsummit1776.com. Get your tickets. Uh, check out all the speakers that are going to be there. I could speak, but I don't think I'm going to. I'd rather just have fun with the people. I mean, speaking is fun, of course, but I do that every day. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to hang out with you guys, meet and greet, and, and just enjoy, enjoy it. So Yep, that's June 8th and 9th, and that's at 11 a.m., so it's a Saturday and a Sunday. So, yeah, go get your tickets, and I would love to see you guys and take pictures and just have a party. It's going to be great. So, yeah, getting started this morning. So I'm going to see your questions in the chat, and I have a few questions that were emailed in that I'm going to just start with those that were emailed in. Remember, guys, for next week, if you would like to make sure that your uh, question gets answered, wait a second, I got to find it. Go to starcanashores at gmail.com. Moderators, you don't mind putting that in the chat because I can't find my banner. <laughs> so starcanashores at gmail.com. Um, 
that's where you want to send in all your questions if you want to make sure that it gets read you know because sometimes in the comments it gets lost and it might not see your comment so please don't take offense to it ever but here we go let's do it so our first question was from neil there's a little bit of a backing to it first i'm going to read um from a good a good soul tribe neil so this is the backing so swift recently announced in brussels again that they are preparing and testing a central bank digital currency used for cross-border transactions between 38 institutions. The question, two questions, is the digital or virtual currency that SWIFT is testing for use not yet known to us by any crypto name? We're also going to ask, will that virtual currency be short-lived and rejected by humanity for our greater good? It just cut off right there. <laughs> but that's what we're going to look into. That's going to be the first question. I'm going to pull up the cards for the stage. Yes, there is a little shark there <laughs> from a beautiful friend of mine. It is protection. So if you didn't know that, um, just like, you know, it's a spirit animal of protection. Yeah, they get a bad rap, but it is. It's all for protection. So if you wonder why a shark is there, that's why. <laughs> so we're going to pull some cards right here, right now. This is going to be the first couple of questions. Here we go. I'm going to use the gold deck. Here we go. Question one, is the digital or virtual currency that SWIFT is testing for use not yet known to us by any crypto name? Here we go. Simple yes or no. Seven of swords. So there's something manipulative about this. So I would say it's a no. We've got the wheel of fortune. And then the two of swords. So that is a no. But that center card with the wheel of fortune, it is a positive direction usually. That's a good sign. It's a good card. The other two are just pretty much answering the question and it's giving us a no, but it's going in a positive direction. There is a bit of a manipulation or something that they're trying not to let us see. So very interesting for that question. <laughs> okay. Now, number two, will that virtual currency be short lived and rejected by humanity for our greater good? Here we go. Eight of Pentacles, most likely is a yes. Here we go. The Hierophant, the Tower in Reverse. So that would be a yes, definitely. Yep. So that virtual currency will be short-lived and rejected by humanity. All right. Well, there you go. That was for Neil. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're moving forward here. I know I have another question from the emails as well, a couple of them. We're gonna take care of those and then we'll get into your comments and questions in the chat. So this one is about Shiba Inu. So as you know, Shiba Inu is very popular in, uh, what was it, 2022? 2021, mostly. But it hasn't really done anything, you know? So let's take a look. Will Shiba Inu drop at least two zeros this year? Let's take a look. Shiba Inu, will it drop two zeros this year? Here we go. Knight of Swords. So far, it is looking like a yes. That is action being taken. King of Cups, another yes. Five of Wands in reverse. So it is a yes, and it looks like, so for the Five of Wands in reverse, that's a good sign. Because if it were upright, that would be conflict or things like still just taking forever. So I feel like, yes, it's going to happen. We've got the, the Knight of Swords, which is air. Then we have water with the King of Cups. So I am thinking summertime. I'm going to roll with, for some reason, cancer is coming to me. So cancer season. So I'm going to roll with July for this one. So we'll have to see. We'll keep your eye on uh, Shiba Inu. It needs to do something. <laughs> All right, guys. And then I have another question from the emails, which all of you will love this one. Um, Jasara, 
star and star or whatever they're going to call it. What is the time frame? Zodiac estimate time frame. Okay. So we're going to do that one right here, right now. Check it out. I know we've done this quite a few times, but hey, we're trying to keep it uh, consistent. See what the cards show. We're going to use the gold deck for this one. And guys, I hope that you can't hear the background noise. They're still doing a lot of work out here. <laughs> so hopefully it sounds okay. All right. I like that, Connie. Chump Sara. They should call it that. That's awesome. Chump Sara. <laughs> okay. What is the time frame? Zodiac estimate, spirits, guides, angels. Let's see. Can you guys help us out? Throw us the time frame, Zodiac time frame. Here we go. With the current calendar, even though it's fake. Here we go. Nine of Swords. It's air. So we're looking for a time frame, zodiac time frame. So we're looking for what they represent. So that's air signs, the swords. Let's see what else they're going to give us. They gave us air for Mr. Trumpster, too, the other day. If you missed the show, I think it was Tuesday morning. I don't know. One of the morning shows. Um, here we go. Time frame, zodiac time frame for Chupsara, Jasara, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. Ten of cups. We got some water going on, air and water. Okay. Earth. Oh, come on. The angels and guides are playing a little game. But you know what? It does kind of make sense because Gemini is our next air sign, Taurus is the earth energy in april so it goes taurus which is earth to air and then after the air we have water so hmm. i would say based on this so far it's going to be taurus into gemini into cancer so during that time will be very exciting ten of cups is as you can see it always represents family the beautiful uh you know American dream pretty much is how I see it. The old American dream of how, you know, I mean, they pretty much programmed us to say, oh, you have to have a family. You have to have children. You have to get married. Um, so I'm not really sold on that idea, but <laughs> it's beautiful. But that Ten of Cups reminds me of that. So it's going to bring happiness to the people, harmony, peace, happiness, and love, all of that, okay? So let's see what else comes through to verify. I want to ask confirmation from the angels and guides and spirit. Whoever's around here that, of the light that's trying to help us out here, give me a straight answer. Does it happen from Taurus to Cancer season? Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Here we go. Yep. Okay, Seven of Wands. This is for confirmation. So seven of wands is protection. It also demonstrates like fighting for the people. So it's it's showing us that that is the projected action being taken. That is what they're striving for. That's fire energy. So they're working to have and make this happen. So this is a yes. Then we have the knight of swords, another fighting card, battle card. So knight of swords is taking action with the seven of wands together, working together. So, yes, it looks like they're trying to make that happen for that time frame. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That's all of us, sun signs or rising. Um, but that is the Earth Energy. So, yes, it is going to come to the Queen of Pentacles. Now, what she does, as you can see in, in that picture, it might be a little glare, but she manifests... Oh, wow, the back of the deck is Six of Cups as well. So we're getting a, a huge confirmation right now. It is saying yes. Don't hold me to it. If you're a new viewer and you come at me later and say, oh, you said this, you know, it happened during that season and it didn't, just just go, okay? <laughs> um, because this is just a Zodiac time frame. We asked and it told us this is what it gave us. But, yes, it's showing us action being taken. This is what they're trying to have happen during that time. It looks like they're fighting for it for us to make that happen. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, she's manifesting. She's looking at her pentacle and envisioning everything that she was calling in. She's calling in all everything that she wants to manifest. So this is a huge confirmation, and I'm going to roll with this one. I'm going to roll with that. So 
Taurus, Gemini, Cancer season through that those those areas right there is when we should expect it based on this reading right here. All right. So moving on, I knew that one would be pretty fun. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's pull some questions from the chat. I think, did I get them all in the other area? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to come in your comments and take a look. So the first one that I'm going to see, I'm going to scroll up and try to, if I didn't find your questions earlier, and you put them in earlier when I was pulling cards, feel free to throw them back in the chat. That way they're they're very current and I can just pull them up. Um, loving all your comments. This is awesome. <laughs> yes, the gold cards I absolutely love as well. They're, they're one of my favorites for sure. Probably my favorite deck. They've given me the most connection, um, the most downloads, the most triggers. When I connect with the other side, that was the first poll that I had with someone that I, I dearly loved, but I wasn't sure if the person was alive or not because he, he didn't write back and as he always would before. So the first poll that I had with this deck was to see if he was alive. I, I didn't feel like he was, but I wanted to check. Um, he was a cancer sign and the chariot is the cancer card and that is the card that came out. So it was like very trippy. And then I had visions of him. So I'm so connected to this deck and it's good with love. So it's good with love, the afterlife. For me, it is. Um, but when you get a deck of cards, it just it depends on how it's going to treat with you, how it's going to work with you. So, yeah, this one's really good for financial, love, afterlife. So this is like my favorite. I, I guess it really is my favorite. <laughs> um, this one, I'm just going to share my decks real quick. So this one is called um, the Royale, Grand Royale deck. Beautiful deck. You guys always ask about this one. I'll throw the links in the description. Um, they're on Amazon. You can get them. So I'll do that. I just have to remember, but I will. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back on topic. I got distracted. All right. Let's take a look. Your new comments are coming in here. Let's see. We're going to keep it financial, so I know there's a question about the bridge and everything, but this is a financial show for today. But we did do that in the morning, the other morning, a couple of them. But yeah, let's see what else is out there financial. Yeah, the bridge questions, we already went over the bridge the other morning. So let's keep it all on this topic. Let's take a look. I'm looking for financial questions. I'm still scrolling up there. I know I saw them earlier, but now I don't really see them. Here's one. All right. Checking on Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum. Let's take a look. Good question. So we're going to switch to this deck, Grand Royale. Let's check on Bitcoin Cash. A lot of you have Bitcoin Cash. So let's take a look. What is the reading? What is the energy? Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords. So Seven of Cups is like smoke and mirrors or kind of miscombobulated. The energy is not real stable. It's it's not really um, doing much. It's kind of like with the Ace of Swords. So there's air energy. It is going to make it's going to make some improvements, but not much. Seven of Cups is kind of it's just not stable. It's kind of wishy-washy. It's unclear. The energy isn't. So I can't really tell you if right now if this is a good investment long term because it looks a little wishy-washy to me. Let's see. Judgment card. Five of Pentacles. So honestly, if it does improve, which I do think it's going to improve, but not anytime soon. We do have air in there. So it could be it could be Gemini or Libra in that time frame. But with the five of pentacles, it's a very slow progressing card. So it's very slow progressing for a financial reading. Seven of cups. It's something that's just not clear. It doesn't some people don't really feel too good about it. So the collective isn't really accepting it or maybe the system isn't going to accept it. But what I'm getting is a slowdown. It might do well and improve and then like slow down and come to a halt with the five of pentacles. 
So very interesting. Um, let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum let's see, usually gets a good read, but we'll take a look. Current energy for Ethereum. I'm gonna change deck to this little yellow deck here. Another pretty one. Has a lot of gold. I don't remember the name of it though. Like here's the Ten of Cups, it's really pretty. Um, I'll find out the name though and put it in the description as well. Let's see. So for Ethereum, let's check it out. What is the current energy for Ethereum? We have enlightenment, so that's good. Enlightenment for financial means it's stabilized. It's going to produce something. It's going to make a move. It's kind of hanging out, kind of like the hangman, just waiting. It's just waiting to make that, that big drastic turn. Ten of wands. So, yeah, that's fire. Tower card. Oh, so that would mean that it is going to shoot up. And go up pretty good and strong and then drop so like a roller coaster for sure and then the high priestess yep so a drastic move up and then all the way down and then the high priestess will find balance again so pretty cool i kind of like that at least there's some action in there for ethereum <laughs> All right, now let's check some more questions in the chat. Thank you so much for your question, Arati, I think. I like that name. It's very pretty, Jolie. Um, let's see what else is coming in here. XRP, XLM, of course. Have to do that, especially in case Mel Carmine's watching. He definitely would want this question. <laughs> XRP, XLM, let's do it. So XRP is going to get the gold cards always. Here we go. XRP. Energy check. Page of Wands. New beginnings. Here we go. The Chariot. Love it. There's that July Cancer card. Let's take a look. King of Swords. So King of Swords is Gemini energy. It's our closest air sign right now is Gemini. We're in Aries right now. New beginnings, setting intentions, visualizing. So yes, this is beautiful. So we're getting, we've got the Aries, we've got the Cancer, and we've got the Gemini. So I'm going to roll with it. And I feel that XRP is going to take great action with that July card, but it's going to already start in June. So it looks like it's already going to start in Gemini season. July is still going to be doing great, um, but bringing us new beginnings, beautiful, beautiful intentions that you have set. So, yeah, we're going to see some good stuff with XRP. This is great. I love it. So, yeah, June and July looking good. All right, now let's take a look for XLM. We're going to change the deck. XLM, current energy. Here we go. King of Cups. Oh, let's see. Popular, the King of Cups today. And that's, you know, making me think July is going to be really good. Now we got the Five of Cups. So XLM, ooh, the star, more air energy. It is Aquarius, but since our soonest air sign is Gemini, that's what we would base it on. Five of Cups, so it looks like it's going to do pretty well. King of Cups, July, it does look like a slowdown, and then another boost. It's going to do well, too. So I'm kind of thinking it's going to mirror the energy, maybe, of XRP, or try to. It's going to try to mirror that. Um, but it might have a little bit of a drop and then an increase again. So it's kind of an up, down, up situation with XR, XLM. So very good. Very good questions. I know those two are awesome uh, to look at for sure. So thank you, Sophie Farrago. Thank you. And if I butcher anyone's names, I am very sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Taking more questions from the chat. Oh, that's a good question. Now, I know you put the bridge in there a little bit. Whoops. 
Sorry, Ricky, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I saw this one. The chain of supply. I know the bridge is in that question. It's fine because it has to do with the financial you're wondering. So that's perfect. So will the chain of supply financial market as well as supply flow of silver and gold due to bridge incident? So you mean, is it going to be uh, impacted? Is it going to be impacted? Chain of supply. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Yes or no? Here we go. We have the Six of Cups, so it doesn't look like it's going to negatively affect it. We have the Hierophant. It's still going to be very strong, and the chain supply is not going to be affected in any negative way. So, no. These are beautiful cards of stability. Silver and gold is always going to be fine. Six of Cups, very giving to the people. But we're going to do a straight-up read on silver and gold anyways. But, yeah, the question... Nah, it's not going to impact anything if, if that was what you were meaning to ask. All right, so more questions down below here. Here's another question in the chat. Let's see. From in big, we're going to pull this one up, clear my cards. In big is North American goats and financial systems headed for bankruptcy, leading to collapse and a new beginning. Will it happen this year? If yes. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Wow, Knight of Cups. It is a yes. So it is a yes for this year. That is a water card. Let's see what else comes through here. Four of pentacles. So that's safety, protection, king of pentacles. So pay attention to that safety and protection right there. Four of pentacles. So there's a lot of fear going on about, oh, things are going to be ripped from you, taken away from you. You're not going to have access to get it back. It's not true. It hasn't been coming through as true. It's been coming through as just talk to probably get more people uprised, upheaval, views, whatever the motive is. But no. So this looks good. This looks really good. We're getting water and earth energy. So that could also be cancer. Okay. And then moving into maybe Virgo later in the year, if that helps with any kind of time frame. But that's what we're getting. So, yeah, very good question. Very good question in big. All right. See what else is out there. Let's see. I saw something. This one, this is a coin that I have heard about, and a lot of people keep asking me about it, so I better do it. <laughs> Let's see. And hello, Kiki. Good morning. So nice to see you here. Look at Pika Moon coin. Is it a good investment? So Pika Moon coin, is it a good investment? Let's take a look. Wow. Temperance. So I would say so. Normally, this is the angel card showing balance. So it's a balanced investment. It's good. Ten of cups. Definitely good. We do have some manipulation, though. Wow. <laughs> we got the devil card coming out. <laughs> All right. So the devil card, it's manipulation, I feel. Um, so it is a good investment, but beware of manipulation. I guess that's how you would have to read that one. But great question. Thank you for bringing it to my attention because that one I haven't asked, and it's been, it's been coming at me for a while now, and I just forgot to ask. <laughs> So thank you, Kiki. That was awesome. And thank you guys so much. Cream J, thank you so much. I'm going to pull up your question. And also, I want to say thank you to Mr. Prinsbeat. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate and beautiful comment. Thank you so much for your super chat. Cream J, we're going to do your question right now. Switch to the gold deck. Here we go. So Safe Haven, S-H-A. This is on the Polygon chain, 
and has made bridges into the ET and newly XRP ledger. What does the cards have to say about safe haven? Thank you for everything. Aw, thank you so much. Well, thank you for everything. Thanks for being here and always being in the chat supporting. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Safe haven. What is the energy? Is it good? Here we go. King of Swords. We like King of Swords. So it's so far so good. Six of Swords. So a lot of air energy. And then the star. Hopefully you guys could see it. Some of the art is fading off of the gold. <laughs> but we have the star there at the end. So that does represent abundance. It, everything. So it's very abundant and, and fulfilling. Okay, Six of Swords is moving out of the dark into the light. Gemini energy is our next air sign. King of Swords as well. So it looks like, yes, it's a very good, very good investment. And it looks like there's going to be movement. Wow, see, we got, for XRP, we got June as well. So I'm thinking June and July is going to be awesome. Gemini and Cancer season, I think that's where it's at. So looking good. Safe Haven, yes, very good. Great question. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Let's see what else is out there. Here's from Gregory Paul Edwards. So out in Australia. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see. So let's check on Australia. Let's take a look over there. Is the Australian dollar going to improve in comparison to the U.S. dollar? It's been very low. All right, and thank you so much for your question. Here we go. Is the Australian dollar going to improve in comparison to the U.S. dollar? Here we go. Four swords. Let's see where this leads because that's a stagnant, okay, chariot. Beautiful chariot card. And then let's take a look. The Knight of Wands. Okay. So I would say... July, August, because we have Cancer and Leo in here. It looks like it's not really going to move or do anything. No changes during your June, your Gemini season. There won't be much happening. But for you guys, it looks like July and August, Leo season, Cancer, Leo. So looking good. It is a yes. It is a definite yes, but it's it's telling me that. It's telling me that it's that July, August area of this year you're going to see some improvement there so very good question cool very good let's see what else is out there i know i, I saw some come in i'm not fast enough <laughs> here you go let's see there's a coin i have never heard of this one but let's check it out why not Clean 960. Let's see. So is it pronounced Prem? I guess Prem coin or wouldn't be Prem because it has an E on the end, right? So it's got to be Prem. <laughs> so Prem coin. Is it a good investment? Here we go. Huh. So far, it's not looking like it's the best investment, but hold on. Let's take a look. Oh, probably not. Probably not. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, hey, you asked and there you go. It served you. And it said flat out no. Flat out times three. Confirmation. Is it a good investment? Are you really saying no? Let's see. Confirmation. Whoa. Hanged man in reverse. So, yeah, there you go. Four times. But I never heard of that one. That's that's interesting. But yeah, it's a no on that one. But thank you so much for your question. Very good. See what else is out there. Mr. Prinsbeat. I haven't heard of this coin either. Zion coin. What do you see about the Zion coin? Okay. Switch up the deck. Yeah, that last one. Whoa, that was really negative. <laughs> All right, so Zion coin, here we go. Is it good or not? 
No. Wow. Okay, so it's the devil card. It is Capricorn energy, but for a yes or no, it's flat out no for that one. Hierophant in reverse. Let's see what else we get. So it's a no. And then the eight of wands. So it may take action. It may it may do something and, and spice things up. But ultimately, I guess for long term, it is a no on that one as well. Wow. So there you go. But thank you for asking. Thank you for your question. Let's see what else is out there. Taking a look in the chat. Connie Phillips. Yep, XLM, XRP is best, in my opinion, too. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for being here. Lakeside Laura, we got Lisa in the house. We got Connie, of course. Thank you guys so much for moderating because, yeah, there's been a few trolls lately. <laughs> That's why I brought the shark app. The shark is here to protect, for sure. Um, T-Coin, yeah, T-Coin, let's do T-Coin. There are quite a few emails about that one. So yeah, T-Coin, let's take a look, clear this spread here. And I hope you guys are enjoying the show and have your coffee and just enjoy. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. My Ascent coffee, of course. All right, guys, so T-Coin, let's see, is it good? What is the energy of T-Coin? Here we go. Six of swords, so it's not a bad energy, that's good. It's coming out of a slump into the light or a swamp. Then we got the Ace of Cups. So T coins looking good. King of Swords. Very good energy. Stability there with the King of Swords. Fulfillment with the Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. That means you're gonna see some action. It's gonna it's gonna do something soon. So it's gonna get out of that boring, stagnant energy. And again, look at the, all the air and water we have. We have air and water, Gemini, Cancer, beautiful energy. So yeah, look out for T-Coin. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else is out there in the chat. Moving right along here. New comments, I'm gonna scroll on down. Thank you guys so much, yes. Ooh, I like this one. In Big has another question, awesome. Let's see. I'm going to switch to the gold cards because we have to. It's about gold. Will gold price rise before a fall? Then have a further rise into summer solstice. Oh, that's a great question. Will gold price rise before a fall? Let's first ask that one. Yes or no? Whoa. Yes. The star card. Yes. Yes. And it is an air sign. It's Aquarius, but it's air. So Gemini is our next air. Okay. So will gold price rise before I fall? Yes. And it's looking like it could be in Gemini. Then will it have a further rise into summer solstice? So will gold then have a further rise into summer solstice? Here we go. Whoa. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. So as you can see, it's a beautiful card in most decks. It's, all, it's always with this, this hand and the pentacle. Pentacle represents coins, a gold coin. So yes, how appropriate. So definitely, this is a definite yes. Great question. Well phrased. Thank you very much, In Big. Perfect. That's exciting. All right. So let's see what else is out there. Taking a look. New comments. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to get into foreign, uh, foreign currency, too. Yes. Um, let me scroll up a little bit further here. There's a few tokens we'll be looking into as well. And just making sure I didn't miss anything that was really cool. <laughs> um, yes, you might want to tell Mel about it. I know he loves VET and XRP. Yeah, I'll have to tell him about that other one for sure. Good thinking there. He might be watching, so shout out. He was watching us the other morning, too. <laughs> let's see. All right, yeah, let's go to the new new comments here. Foreign currency, we're going to take a look right here right now. I saw someone's comment, Vietnamese dong. Let's see. So you guys can start adding questions to the chat now if you have foreign currency questions. 
because I might not remember all the names of them. So feel free to throw them in the chat now. Here we go. So from Polly. Welcome, Polly. Good morning. Will you look into Vietnamese Dong? Just curious if that is still in the cards to go up. All right. What cards? Do I? I think I want to use these. Vietnamese Dong. Let's see. Is it going to go up? Here we go. Any zodiac time frames are appreciated from our spirit guides, angels, whoever's with us of the light that's helping us out here. Here we go. Wow. Ace of Wands. So it is definitely going to go up. We do have the Lover's card. And we have the King of Cups. He keeps coming around. Okay. So the Lover's card is Gemini. Clearly, that is the Gemini card. King of Cups, Cancer. We are in Aries right now, Ace of Wands. But is it, it's a definite yes. Hands down, yes. But again, June and July, looking really good, looking really hot. All right, guys. Very good question, Polly. Thank you. Let's move down. New comments here. Yeah, the dinar. Yes. Let's check on dinar. <laughs> okay. So the dinar, let's see the current energy and what it's going to do. Here we go. Whoa, we got the sun card. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm trying to position it a little better. Then we got the ace of pentacles. Beautiful. Two of cups. Two of cups. So there's some water for you again. Ace of pentacles is earth. And then the sun card ruled by Leo is the sun. So it could be later in the summer, July, August more. You know, maybe we'll start to see some good stuff in a Taurus or no, 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 no. Back it up. I think it's going to be okay. No, because Leo and then it goes to Virgo. So yeah, I think it's July, August, September. I don't think it's Taurus because it's it would move too slow. And I feel like with the sun card being next to the ace of pentacles, it's probably Virgo for sure. So Cancer, Leo, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. So for the dinar. Very cool. Very cool. Very exciting cool, uh, cards, as you could see. The sun card. And we got the ace of pentacles in a different deck for the other question. So, like, this, this is, like, it's really coming through big time. Awesome. All right. So, thank you so much, Connie. Great. Because I can't think of all their names um, sometimes. Because <laughs> they're kind of goofy names, you know? Let's see, this one too. Yeah, let's check on that one. Thank you. The Venezuelan Boulevard. Okay, so we're going to check on that one too. Here we go. Eight of Cups. Ooh, let's see what happens with this one. It's still water though, Eight of Cups, and it does mean it's going to be doing something. It's going to take some action because that's, Eight of Cups is an action card, even though it looks very still. It's an action. Seven of Pentacles, the world card. Wow, okay, so Seven of Pentacles and the world card. We got Earth in there. The world card is a completion. So I do think it's going, it's definitely going to rise. It's definitely going to do good. Um, but I'm thinking because it has that energy of the Eight of Cups, could be the eighth month, seventh or eighth month. So that's July, August is what we're getting. Again, so let's see what else I can get to. Completion, a completion, the world for financial, that's a big rise. That's something like, it's it's like grand. It's very grand. So here we go. Let's see. Yeah, the high priestess. Okay, so the high priestess, it's going to balance out. So it's going to do really well and kind of like be very shocked, may, maybe even shocking. It might even take you by surprise and then kind of balance out. So looking really good there. Cool. Good question, Connie. Let's see. I saw another one in here, too, that was really cool. Yeah. Two other popular ones, XTC and IOTA. So we're going to take a look into that, too. 
XTC and IOTA. We're running on 45 minutes already. Can you believe that? It goes by fast. Okay. XTC and IOTA. I'm only keeping my eye on the clock because I have a reading <laughs> coming up. A one-on-one -on -one general reading. Remember, guys, if you want to schedule a general reading, um, past life reading, any kind of reading, I just do it all pretty much on there on my website. Go to Starcana. No, wait, sorry. Go to arcanashores.net. Arcanashores.net. There you go. I'll just leave it at the bottom there, but the special is still going on. For sure. All right. And then we'll have, I'll always have specials. So this isn't just like a one time thing. Okay. But, anyways, let's get back to the question <laughs> XTC and IOTA. First, let's start with XTC. Is it a good investment? Let's see the energy. Queen of Swords. Looking good. Stable. Two of Cups. Probably two of cups is coming out because we have another coin in the question. Eight of pentacles, but it is going to progress. It might even double. That could be what the two is. That's what that's what I heard in my in my mind. Double the word double. All right. So yeah, stability. It'll be stable, and then it's going to double, and then the eight of pentacles. It's going to like go. It's going to progress again. So it's almost like it'll gain some momentum after going double. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. XTC, looking good. Um, let's take a look at IOTA. Here we go. Seven of Pentacles. I like Seven of Pentacles. So in that card, like generally, she's like, or it usually could be a guy too. In my deck, it's a guy. <laughs> uh, but looking at what you've already planted and you're seeing it grow so things progressing this is another progression card so for iota it looks like it's it's progressing it's it's getting its momentum let's see six of cups that's good another sign that it could double as well six of cups let's see what else comes through it might follow it might follow patterns of other coins I feel like it mirrors others. Then we have the five of swords. So yeah, that's a strategy. Um, it could be a manipulation. So just be aware of that. This one might be a manipulated one. I think a lot of them are, honestly. But I think it's going to do well. It has a good energy. And I'm taking the five of swords more of a strategy. Okay, so it might be mimicking or following along with other coins and kind of taking after that, mirroring the energy. So we'll keep our eye on that one, Iota. I know that was a popular one a couple years ago, people would ask. But thank you for your question, Sophie. That is awesome. See what else is out there. I saw some more coming in here. <laughs> we can do this all day. I could just keep pulling cards like all day. Should we, should we, we might have to have a marathon at some point. We might have a marathon show that we just keep rolling. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Allison Goodwin's in the house. Welcome, Allison. Okay, so beautiful, longtime soul triber. Follow me since forever, since I started. So th welcome. Good morning. All right. Let's see. XDC. We did do XDC. XLM already did. XRP are actually all three backed by utility technology. Their value is compared to the value of those metals. Very good. Well, thank you so much for bringing that up. <laughs> awesome. Let's see. So Zim. Did I pull on Zim yet? I don't think I did. But let's do it. Let's do it. Zim, the humanitarian projects. Here we go. The energy. Humanitarian projects is Zim. Here we go. What's the energy of Zim? Whoa. We haven't seen this one all morning. Three of Cups. That's the party card. That's celebration. As you can see, it's like spirit celebrating, but they will be too for the people. So that's us for sure. That is just happiness, fulfillment, overjoyed. Good energy. Seven of Swords, though. We got Seven of Swords coming in. So there's a bit of a manipulation or a slowdown to this one. 
but then we have the magician beautiful outcome so there's a reason for it i guess to have that well we've been waiting but it looks like there may be more of a wait but we will ultimately celebrate it's a great energy the magician to come out as the outcome that's what we manifest that's all of us we're all magicians it's related with the humanitarian project so this is a yes it is real it is productive it's beautiful it's we're going to be celebrating this one so very good energy time frame now the cards that we have here we do have water we have air but we also have the magician which is sagittarius that is a fire card it's it's very passionate it's we all have this within us that fire and passion to manifest so could be by the end of the year i would say i'm, I'm not going to pinpoint a, a specific month or anything at this time but i would say by the end of the year we should definitely have that wrapped up so pretty cool very good cards see what else we get down here in the other questions here and i think we're gonna go about maybe 10 15 more minutes only because i don't want to miss my reading <laughs> Um, but you guys are awesome. This has been a really fun show for sure. Let's see. Yeah, Zim, we just did for Mr. Bill C. Thank you so much for your question out there. I'm just now seeing it. Casino coin. That's a good one. I know a lot of people. Did I already pull on this one? I don't. Don't let me pull on things twice, but I don't think I did. So let's do it. <laughs> And then we'll get into silver, because I didn't do silver. I was all about the gold. All right, here we go. So CSC Casino Coin, here we go. Let's see the energy for Casino. For AK, yes, I checked on Sheba. Sheba was probably about maybe 10 minutes ago, but yes, it's in here. <laughs> all right. CSC Casino Coin, what is the energy? What are we going to see? What's going on? Here we go. Oh boy. Seven of Swords. So that one's being manipulated. You got the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to go in a positive direction, but currently it's in a very manipulated state right now. Four of Wands, celebration. So Seven of Swords, current energy, kind of like boring. Not really doing anything, but there's manipulation going on. But it's going to move in a positive direction. And the Wheel of Fortune is great. So it is. It's a very good investment. And then the Four of Wands. Four of Wands, is, that's celebration, joy, kind of like the Three of Cups. So it's, it's bringing people together. It's a good thing. So awesome. Very good. Very good energy. Great question there, Cream J. Thank you very much. And then also, Pommy's Mommy, thank you so much. For your uh, super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you all for your super chats. And I apologize if I didn't catch it when it came in. I'm just now seeing yours, but thank you so much. Um, let's see. Whoops. I have to hide that. It's a little tricky over here. But silver, we're going to check silver right now. I lost the comment, but that's what it was. Here it is. Silver energy. So let's change up the cards for silver. Here we go. What is the energy for silver? What's it going to do? Where are we going with it? Here we go. Seven of Wands in reverse. So currently right now, it's just doing the same. I don't want to, well, same kind of crap it's been doing for a while. Um, we got the Queen of Wands, so it is going to improve. Queen of Wands is fire energy. And then we have the Empress, which is Taurus. So we could see an improvement in Taurus season. It could do, do really well. So again, that's next month. It's April, May, and then it gets into Gemini. So it looks like it's going to be probably Taurus season and then into the summer with the Queen of Wands. Then we have the Temperance. So more so in the fall, it looks like for silver doing really well, really well. Um, Sagittarius, Virgo's in there. We've got Taurus. We've got some fire, Leo. So, yeah, I would say a little bit further down, we're going to see silver doing very well. But I think at the moment, that Seven of Wands energy, it's just kind of boring. 
yeah, it's kind of just doing what we've been seeing it do for the past few weeks or months, you know. But very good. It's always going to be a good investment. Timeless silver and gold, of course. Timeless classics. How could you not invest in that if you can, you know? So beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, I'll take a couple more and then I will have to wrap it up. I know I could do this all day. I pretty much do. <laughs> Just with, you know, our personal readings. <laughs> um, but let's see. Thank you guys so much for all your support, too. Appreciate it. You know, because it's live. So it's not perfect. I'm, you know, I'm sharing screen and doing stuff, but it's not a perfect show. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, let's see. All right. Yeah. Manifesting. Keep manifesting for sure. Good reminder there. Yes, Mr. T, come on back now, please. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. I'm going to take one more. I'm looking in the chat for another question. Let's see. So we did silver. We did gold. We did Shiva. We did XDC, XLM. We did all the foreign currency. Um, this one from Joan Schwartz. That looks pretty good. Let's do that one. Cute little puppy, little Brussels Griffon. So cute. Adorable. Just love that little face. <laughs> Joan Schwartz, here we go. So is the stock market going to crash? If it does, for how long and will it recover if we wait? Stay in and hold tight. Some of us are dependent on the dividend income. All right. Yeah, that's true. So number one, let's start with is the stock market going to crash? Yes or no? Here we go. King of Cups. Hold up. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. It's going to go up and down with that Two of Pentacles in there. Ace of Wands. So it's going to go up and down. It is going to crash. It is going to go. Um, but these cards are pretty positive. So attached to your other question. So it is a yes. If it does, for how long and will it recover? Yes, it will recover. It is ending with the Ace of Wands. It is not going to hurt the people. That's what it's that's what it's saying right here. Um, I don't really care what other readers say for the trolls out there that relieve comments later. <laughs> so just saying other readers get different perspectives. They tap into different dimensions or, or whatever. We all tap into something, something different. We all have different guides as well. So what I, I'm getting from my guides, from my higher self as well, Ace of Wands is a good outcome. So it will recover. It's going to change. There's changes to come. We've got that Two of Pentacles. It's going to go off balance. There is going to be a, a crash, but I don't think it's as crazy or um, devastating as most out there project onto the collective. Um, but the King of Cups was a beautiful card to come out in the beginning. It is stability. It is all good things. Um, but to end with that Ace of Wands, I don't feel that the people are in danger. I do not. Here we go. Nine of Swords in reverse. So Nine of Swords upright would be disappointment and terrible energy. It's just a terrible card. It's energy. It's not good. So it's when you're devastated or disappointed. But it's in reverse. It came out to us in reverse. So it's opposite meaning. And then we have the Three of Swords coming out in reverse too. So disappointment, like I was just saying, it's in reverse. So there isn't, there isn't going to be a disappointment there. I think as we're evolving, and you guys can relate, that as we evolve our discernment to what we hear and everything out there just go with what you feel you know you don't have to watch certain things to figure things out we all know the answer within we can feel it we can feel it these cards did confirm that it's not going to be devastating like they're projecting to the collective so this was a very good question to bring up i know there's tons of uh questions and personal readings that i get about this you know there's a lot of worry surrounding around this this would really damage uh, a lot of people's income and survival so very good question let's see what else is out there i'll take one more and then i probably should go <laughs> but thank you guys so much 
Let's see. In big, let's see. What, maybe a crash in general markets, but rise in minor stocks with transfers of wealth. Let's do that one to end the show. That's a great one. So yes or no? Maybe a cash, a crash in general markets, but rise in minor stocks with a transfer of wealth. So let's just see what we get. Let's see what we get. Wow, justice. Justice cards. That is a yes. Knight of Cups. Giver to the people of goodness and love and hope. All of it. Fulfillment. And then Five of Swords in reverse. So the Five of Swords in reverse is manipulation. If it was upright, but it's in reverse. So it is not. It's not going to hurt the people. Nope. This is really good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, Sophie Bar Farrago. Yes, there is a big rise in the truth social stock of Donald J. Trump. So, yeah, very cool. It's very cool to see that for him. Awesome. And you guys, if you're not on truth social, you need to because there's tons of posts every day. It's great. It's actually very entertaining. <laughs> it's so cute. So definitely take a look into that before I go. And because uh, I have a reading actually very soon. Let's see. I'm going to share screen. So for those of you that don't know where to find me for a personal reading, make sure you go to arcanashores.net. That's where you can find me. All my readings and also more. I offer more than just tarot readings. I have astrology chart readings available. I also have quantum human design, which is a lot of fun as well. Um, but the express recorded readings, we're doing a special to celebrate this new year, the real new year. So that's at 50 for four questions you send to me and I make you a video. And then the general tarot readings, that's what I do every day, which I absolutely love. So it starts off with no information from you, a blind reading, about five minute blind reading. And then the rest of the hour is all your questions. So you ask me whatever it is you want to know, any topic, doesn't matter. So that's a great one. That'll always stay about 188, but there is a special. There is a special. If you use code Arcana, you get $44 off. So be 144. So that's a special if you use the code Arcana. Spiritual therapy also available. That's for anyone that's going through something and just needs to meet more often, have more guidance. It's four sessions, four 30-minute sessions for only 144. So I'm just kind of reviewing my website because I never really do. And I need to offer and show you guys everything I have. Beyond the Veil is the other side. So that's mediumship. I also do. Angel number prices, you will notice, 144, 122. <laughs> to learn tarot, we have 122. But that may turn into a live class. I'm getting a lot of emails. Um, so that may be a live class, a Zoom class that we all join together and do it one-on-one. -on -one. For each person and kind of really get it down because I know there's a lot of us we will buy a course sounds awesome we're really into it but then yeah we bought the course but we didn't do it you know so there's a lot of pre-recorded um, <laughs> there's a lot of pre-recorded you know courses out there we'll buy them and then never do it so I feel like that one might have to be one-on-one -on -one, or you can join a you know a live zoom class so so much more to come so much there's so many projects i'm working on behind the scenes i do i work every day because it's not work to me it's passion it's i'm just creating constantly um but i will be back on today at three o'clock so yeah i better get going but thank you all for joining me i appreciate it now the lights are going off <laughs> i appreciate it i will see you guys later on today with the hollywood show so you guys take care bye